How would you summarize how you feel about this election in one word? Stressed. I would say unsure. While polls have showed the Biden-Trump matchup in a dead heat for nearly a year, there is a slice of the electorate that is still unhappy with both candidates. This sentiment, matched with being residents in swing states, makes them voters who likely will determine the winner. The Washington Post and George Mason University conducted a poll interviewing more than 3,500 Americans who are a part of this subset of voters, and we're calling them deciders. Who are they? They live in battleground states, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, and Arizona. Trump won five of these states in 2016, but Biden swept all six in 2020. They are sporadic voters. They don't have a regular voting pattern because they voted only once in the last two presidential elections, or they were too young or unregistered during those cycles. Or deciders are those who have shown no enthusiastic support for Biden or Trump, or have changed parties since 2016. We'll continue to check in with these voters through election day, but for now, here's a snapshot of how they feel about the first presidential debate. What do you feel each candidate is going to have to do or say in order for you to formulate your opinion about them? Is there anything that you're, you're looking for? I care a lot about human rights specifically. So um, if they discuss anything about reversing Roe v. Wade or um, anything involving um, LGBT rights um, and kind of helping reverse some of the anti-trans uh, legislation that's been passed over the past year, I'm definitely, they've, that, that's definitely got my vote, but it's kind of like the lesser of two evils right now because they're both not great. For Biden, he would have to show that um, you know, tangible steps to to uh, lower costs and, and get some things sorted out in that kind of way, just just for for everyday life. And then for for Trump, I think that we need to hear some tangible and specific actionable points that that aren't all his personal vendettas. I, I don't think it'll change how I feel at all. I think both of them kind of suck. Is there anything that you think the candidates have not addressed yet that you wish that they would? For me, you know, I think the biggest thing that, that I haven't heard from either of them is they each kind of talk about how they're better than the other or they're, they're waging their own culture wars. And I think that something we haven't really heard from either of them is how um, is a plan for, for making the lives of Americans better. And, and again, specific policy type things because I feel like they each know that people don't generally like the other or vice versa. And they're basically just selling themselves on, um, well, I, at least I'm not that guy or I'm better than this guy because, you know, he's a felon or vice versa, you know, whatever the, whatever the thing is. Um, and they don't really seem focused on policy specific things to make the lives of Americans better.